guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Igoch Joy I am a youtuber based in Manila Philippines and Nigeria if this is your first time here I want to welcome you to my channel please don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel if you are a returning subscriber I just want to say thank you for always watching my videos please guys don't forget to go back to my previous videos and watch them I have so many fun videos previously so just go back no yeah screw up and you know watch them so that you'll be able to enjoy my vlog i'm making this video because so many people have gone to study in philippines and other countries without actually know, knowing a lot about the country so today i'm just gonna be giving you guys tips on what you should know before schooling in the philippines and questions you should ask because i went to the country and you know I wasn't able to ask such questions so in this video I'm going to be talking about a lot concerning the educational system in Philippines what you should this it doesn't just apply to Philippines it applies to any other country so if you are going to study these are some questions you need to ask before actually going to the country I'm going to be using my stay in Philippines as an example for you guys to be able to you know just um, join me and understand the video okay so if you are interested in this video please watch till the end the first thing you should um, look out for before going to the country is to have someone in that country so before you go to before I went to Philippines I had uh, a friend so I asked her a lot of questions about the country and also my agent is staying in Philippines was in Philippines he was staying in Philippines so I asked him a lot of things about um, Filipinos and you know he told me a lot about the country Country. he told me how nice the Filipinos were and I can proudly say the Filipinos are nice and he told me about you know the environment and a lot of things about the country so if you are going to any country to study just you know ask about the country ask about you know the bad things the good things you know what you should look out for if it's somewhere you can actually study and just ask questions another thing you should ask is that ask if they actually have your course of study so guys as I was going to um, Philippines I never knew that they don't give foreigners accounting instead they give foreigners accounting technology so um, according to them accounting is a very hard um, course so they don't think foreigners are able to you know go through that process and again foreigners are not allowed to take the CPA examination so they don't um, stress themselves to give foreigners accounting I remember in Nigerian was studying accounting technology and he was asking me how were you able to study accounting and i'm like i got a very high grade during my entrance examination so they had to give me accounting if only i had failed the rule is that if you have a low grade they take you to accounting technology but all through my stay in philippines i had excellent grades so they kept me in accounting and also in medicine in philippines you need to have um one year you need to have a a degree before taking up medicine in Philippines so a lot of you does go to countries without knowing you know the requirements before taking up that course so I had a friend that went to Philippines also just to go and study medicine and he was asked to have a degree first so you need to have a degree before you take up medicine in Manila Philippines I don't know about other countries but in Philippines you need to have a degree as a foreigner before taking up medicine so most people just go for psychology as their first degree psychology is one year so after the psychology they now start up medicine which approximately it's gonna take like five years or six years I don't know about that but yeah Philip um, foreigners take um psychology some of them take psychology before medicine that's if you really want to study medicine that's what you need to do or you can have a degree from your country and come to philippines and study medicine that one is accepted but if you are just a fresh graduate from high school and you want to take up medicine in philippines they they will not let you take medicine unless you have a degree i don't know who brought up that law but that is how it is in philippines so before you go to a country you need to ask if they actually have your course of study another point you're going to look out for is the school fees ask about the school fees so guys as i was going to philippines the school fees the millions i paid hey <laughs> the millions i paid is not what i budgeted for so the agent you know the inner you know, agents will always tell you okay the school fees is this and that so your mind you'll be like okay it's not going to be too much for me to pay so you know i can afford it stuff like that but eventually when you get to the country realize that the school fees 
it's not something that you can pay so guys ask about the school fees and you know in philippines they increase their school fees all the time sometimes when i got to the country the school fees i paid is now lesser than what i paid in my 50th year in my 40th year and you know stuff like that so i pay i step paying the, they start increasing the school fees like every time i'll go to the cashier and i'm like um i'll go to the accountant and i'm like why is my school fees increased i say they added this they added that that's no stuff like that so before you go to any country make sure you know the actual amount they pay for school fees so that you won't go there and get um you know disappointed with the whole thing another thing you should ask for before studying in philippines is, is to ask for their visa fee and also if you are going to any country just ask for their visa fee when i went to philippines i did not know about you know extending a visa so now this is how they do it if you are not um up to 18 years you extend your visa monthly so in philippines foreigners renew their visa and we pay money for visa fee so if you are going to any country you actually need to ask if there's a um visa fee like in philippines our visa fee is yearly some country can give you a monthly visa fee some two years some three years like in philippines it's just a year so we renew our visa every year and every year we pay and I realized that when I got to the um, Philippines, I went with my um, yellow fever card and another card, but they declined my card, so I had to do a new medicals for my visa. So guys, you just imagine, I did not know about that. So these are some questions you need to ask before you actually study in any country, guys. So apart from visa fee, you need to ask about this foreign student fee. So guys, in Philippines, every school has a foreign student fee so in my school our foreign student fee is there in perpetual there's foreign student fee there's a fee for every foreign student it depends on the country and i do not know why so you need to ask if there's a foreign student fee for every university obviously they are going to have foreign student fee so you need to be particular about the amount of the foreign student fee so that you know what um we are going into some people some people just put parents in tight shoes you know some some agents put um, parents in tight shoes you know as a parent you know you you know what you, you the budget for your child but at the end of the day when you now meet agents agents will now lie when they now lie and you get to the country you realize that what you, the money you have is not up to what you are gonna pay when your child is there so you need to know some kind of things before you go to any country i'm just telling you guys out of experience because my mom do you know will be paying st um, foreign student fee i just went to philippines and voila we are asked to pay foreign students fee and can you just imagine <laughs> another question this is a very serious question to ask ask for the duration of your study so guys now i'm going to tell you guys this in my country accounting is just four years so i've always had it in mind that as i'm going to um for my degree it's just gonna be four years and i'm done I come back to my house you know just do my nyc do everything write my exams and stuff like that you know i had four years in mind as i was going to philippines on getting to philippines after i did my accounting registration and all i realized that accounting is five years in philippines so now imagine you just going to a country that you don't know the um duration of your study you are just there and then as you are there you are realizing that instead of four years you are spending five years in school see guys i was so disappointed like i was telling myself that was going to make me spend the whole five years studying just accounting but then philippines they take accounting so high so they tend to allow students you know know a lot of things about the course they tend to allow students know a lot of things about the course and just you know because most of them fail the cpa exams and i don't know why it's so difficult so that's how philippines is i spent five years in school and so if you are going to any country not just philippines just ask if the study it, just ask how many years you are going to be spending don't go and say okay because in your country this is the duration of study you are thinking another country is going to be like that no it's never going to be like that my dear <laughs> 
Yeah, so don't be like me. Better ask questions before you go and study in Philippines or any other country. The final thing I'm going to be talking about, and I'm going to sit down and talk about this one very well, is to ask if the school is accredited guys this is in fact this should be the number one but i'm putting it last because i want to sit down and talk about it very well see guys before you go to any school rather whether philippines or any country you need to first of all ask is the school accredited because you don't want to go there and finish your study and realize that your certificate is useless so guys, this is a quick story I'm going to tell you guys. So um, my school in um, Philippines is accredited, you know, it's a very high standard school. But I realized that in my country, this school is not yet accredited in my country. It's accredited in Philippines, but it is not accredited in Nigeria. And if only I asked questions before going to um, Philippines, I would have been sure of the schools that are accredited in my country. I studied in Philippines and I went back to Nigeria. Time for me to take my board exams. They're like, they can't find the name of my school in the book. I'm like, what do you mean they can't, you can't find the name of my school? They were like, the name of my school is not included in the list of schools in Philippines. And I'm like, what? For real? So it just means that my school is not recognized in Nigeria, which shows that, okay, I did not really attend the school or what. Like, it's, it looked like they were speaking Spanish to me. I really wanted to be sure of what they were saying. At the end of the day, I reached out to my school and I told my school that this is what they are saying in Nigeria. They said um, St. Dominic is not recognized in Nigeria, so how are we going to do it? Is there anything they can do? Stuff like that. And then they, were, they reached out to CHED. CHED is the Ministry of Education in Philippines. They reached out to CHED and CHED sent later to my uh, country. See, guys, this whole process took one year. I sat down at home for a whole year before they accredited my school in Nigeria. So you better ask questions before you go to any university. Guys, I spent a whole year. In fact, some of my schoolmates that got back to Nigeria, you know, they spent like four years, some three years, some two years. It just happened that me, I came and I spent only one year sitting at home. I wasn't able to do anything until Nigeria recognized the school, until Nigeria recognized the Philippine school in Nigeria before I was able to, you know, go and, you know, I'm trying to register for my board exam right now. So guys, before you go to any country, make sure that school is accredited in their own country and in your own country. Don't just go to any school and you can study because the school is fancy or beautiful or, you know, it's of high standard. You need to be sure that, okay, yes, this school is recognized in my own country. And how you should know is that you need to go to Ministry of Education and ask them if this school is recognized in their own system so that you'll be able to know the kind of school to attend and the ones you should run away from. So my school is of high standard but it wasn't in the um, name, list of schools in um, Philippines in the Ministry of Education in Nigeria. I don't know if that makes sense but yeah that was what I went through. So guys I hope you guys learned from this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it like I enjoyed making it. So if you are interested in this in more of these videos please comment down below so i'll be able to know what to put out so i love you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my video and share with your friends and family i love you all from the bottom of my heart and bye guys <laughs>